Other dear ones, it's Alice, I'm of the stars. And I, there's been a series here on, on the effects of grouping uh, with regard to with regard to the current ascension process. And I'd just like to add a little bit more uh, regarding people who are in authority um, and who are respected and looked up to in our society, such as school teachers and, and law enforcement and judges and, let me think, hospital-like um, well-known people in hospitals, uh, doctors and so forth who are used to undertaking authority to, um, to help other people, to help maintain society, help people to get well, to help people to be well, children to be well educated and so forth. This very authority that you're used to is going to cause trouble during the ascension process. And that is because there will be times when your conscious mind is not functioning at all. Okay, when the, the mental faculties s simply cease to function right, when cognitive dissonance holds sway, when you can't trust your mind at all, and yet other people are used to looking up to you and, and hoping for uh, rational decisions from, your, from you and, and your peers, okay? You have to know when your mind is not working right. You have to allow yourself the time to follow your heart and enjoy life during that time and not exercise your role of authority over other people. Um, you can find out more about this in my very brief uh, summary uh, of guidelines for um, solar events. I think, it, I think that the title is um, Community Health Preparing for Solar and Gateway Event EMF Hypersensitivity. It's only one page long and every word means something. I, I know people get um, tired of reading long, long stories so I made it short and sweet and there's information in there about also about people who own guns. It's it's very important not to have guns right now, okay? If you're a police officer, if you're in a situation of cognitive dysfunction, the very first thing to do is give your gun to a fellow officer, you know? If you're a homeowner, you need to give your gun to your wife and she needs to give it to a neighbor, okay? So because a person who is suffering from cognitive dysfunction, dissonance, cannot expect to trust himself or herself with a gun. Okay, it's causing, it's causing these problems that are coming up in the news. All right, so, so this is the thing. Immediately get up to speed on when you're suffering from cognitive dissonance and when you're not. If you're in a position of authority, remove yourself from that role. Go on like, uh, what's it called, the wellness leave or sick leave for that day. For employers and supervisors, find a spot in the bathroom with a, and put a cot in there so that people who are ha suffering from cognitive dissonance won't have to be in a position of driving a, through a long commute to get home because that simply can't be done when that kind of state is experienced, okay? If nothing else, down in the, down in the parking garage, you know, and a chance to just snooze in the car. There's gonna be a way to get through this, but, but it takes awareness of your mental state. And, and for those you know that notice their colleagues in authority suddenly you know, flipping gears like that, briefly flipping gears, try and uh, help them come to that understanding and, and set themselves aside for a little while and then come back again. So one other thing regarding authority and cognitive dissonance, let's say the unthinkable has happened and you slipped into a state of cognitive dissonance and you're in authority and you made a decision that I later can't make heads or tails of and it's affected other people and maybe in a very radical way or however so. So 
the first we have to realize everyone's going through these in and out of these these cognitive dissonance issues and then we have to forgive ourselves and we have to forgive our peers regarding this and we have to come up with a mechanism and put it in place right away to reverse decisions that have been made along these lines all right without any penalty to anyone that's what i feel that's, that needs to be recognizing that there's no loss of face at all. There's nothing to be concerned about. Just reverse any kind of decisions that have been made in a frame of mind that's less than rational and, and let our peers help us with that and let us get on with this process. So forgiveness to everyone all around. All right, for those in authority, I wish you very well.